Hey, what's up? It's Adam Smith from the Commander Smiths, and it is Peroxy time uh, this week, working on Terror of the Peaks. Uh, this is one of the badass dragons that had just been released this past year, 2020, and I figured it's about time to make this guy a proxy because I'm about to make a Magda deck, and this guy is definitely going to be in there. I'll stick around and see how I turn this guy into a nice-looking proxy. Hey, what's up, guys? I am working on Terror of the Peaks. Uh, this card is just one of the crazy badass dragons uh, that they've made in the last year. And so I'm very excited to uh, get this one going. I have some ideas. Now, so right off the bat, um, here is the art that I went with. So there was this one that you can go with where you get the, the full body of it. But this one's already cut up and pretty much where I'd want to place the card anyways. And it's actually higher quality than this one. Uh, let me see if I can find. I want to show you where I found that. So, like I said, did a Google search, Terror of the Peaks art, and that actually turned out to be really nice. So that is what I am using here. So I just wanted to show you that that option was there. So we'll just get rid of that little guy there. So let's get things started. Let's start filling all this out here. All right. Get that all highlighted been watching for weeks you're probably bored with this part because it's just the same old same old but again you just want to make sure you catch everything so you let go of it see what see there's a little bit of highlighted there sometimes a little easier if you zoom in to look the part that sucks is if you miss something here and then you move forward and you don't catch it when you paste it onto the uh the big image uh and you get far enough down the road where doing control Z doesn't really help you. It kind of sucks. <laughs> so you just, you have to basically start from scratch. I've had a couple of those where I didn't see it until I was basically at the final product of it. And I was like, <laughs> part of my language there. <laughs> uh, but it really sucks when you're like half hour, 45 minutes deep. And then you're like, I have to redo that all. It just really sucks. So, uh, all right. So that looks good there. Let's move to the top. Yeah, this is such a sweet dragon card. So I've used this already in uh, my Daryl deck. Uh, I've been playing a lot of red lately, and that's not my jam. But green is my jam, so I don't know why red decks are just drawing me in, but they've been making some pretty cool cards lately. I think it's probably because they're trying to get red and white caught back up uh, with blue, green, and black. Uh, so you get a, we're getting a lot of cool cards here. So we got some, this move down further than I like. We could fix it here or fix it later. Why don't we just fix it here? So you do uh, alt and it's gonna get rid of that. So you just make a box there, brings it up there. Uh, if you do shift, that is gonna bring this. So, oops, I don't wanna do all that. Cause then see, that's not what I want. I want shift going this way. I don't know if I actually want Maybe I want that a little differently there. I want to take away those little nubbins at the top. There we go. That got rid of it. Okay, everything else looks good. So let's move on to the next step. Copy. Let's bring it over here. I think this one's going to be really fun. There's going to be a lot of stuff that we can have go through the image. The only thing you got to be careful with with this one, it is a newer card, so it's not seen a lot. Um, so you kind of want to make sure that you don't cover a lot of the text here. I will cover a little bit cause, uh, it will take, it will it'll add to the card here, but I won't cover it. So you don't know what's going on here. All right. So I think that's a good spot. We're definitely going to want his face to come out here. Um, so let's see here. Oh, where is my... Why is this my, my whole thing gone? Let's get my, my uh, tools. No, don't do that. Give me my tools back. <laughs> I don't even know why this all got switched. Like all this normally is not sitting there like that. Let's see. There we go, layers. So I like having my layers sitting there. This is how I like the setup. I don't even know how it got changed. Uh, so let's... Let's just move forward. <laughs> it's so weird. Freaking technology sometimes. It's just like, I don't even know. Like, we record our podcast sometimes, especially early on when we were doing the, the podcast. 
um, we would do one setting and not change a dang thing. And then the next day we come back and, or the next week and everything's different. And it's just like, we didn't change anything. So right now I'm going to do some of the just easy cleanups. I could do that. Actually, that's, it's probably a better idea to do that at the end because there might be, this won't be that way, but this definitely will be in front of, so there's no cleanup necessary there. So why don't we just start with that actually? Uh, so you can do a couple things here. So there are some tricks that I did learn recently is if you highlight, let's see if we can get it to highlight and it works out. And then we come back to this layer and we press and we get to our stamp and I believe it's delete. Boom. So look at that. You don't even have to use your tool. You just press backspace, delete, uh, not delete. It's backspace. And then it just highlights everything because you're on that stamp tool. You're at hundred percent. I don't care that the name is kind of cut out there. Those don't matter to me because everybody kind of knows what that card is. So that that's a cool little tip to get you going to do it a lot faster. We may even do it with his face here. I think that's probably a good spot. I just want that this whole face to come out. Yep. Look at that. Um, well, let's check his teeth out a little bit. Almost got it perfect just off of doing it once. Nope. All right. So what we'll do is we'll start with that. It gets us a good base. So go to here and backspace. Boom. Uh, okay. So now we want to come back and start messing with his teeth a little bit more. We got to deselect that. Grab our stamp tool and let's zoom in. Get over here. And we're going to have to shrink this way up because we're just going to pull these teeth in here. There we go. So at this point, you're just kind of like painting it. You're just highlighting the teeth, getting those to make sure that those come through on the image. It doesn't look like I'm doing a lot, but it really is doing a lot, getting this to come through. So we have his teeth actually stick out. All right, just making sure I got everything there. Make sure our highlights are good. A little bit there, let me make sure I didn't. Okay, ooh, that looks solid. Solid, solid, solid. Okay, so some other things. Let's see, where do we have in the foreground? I really did want to mess with his tail and just trying to decide if that blocks too much of the image. I also thought that this would be kind of cool having this rock formation kind of stick out a bit. So what we can do here is let's do some tricks. We're going to highlight the rock. Not Dwayne the Rock Johnson, just the rock. And let's try to get the tail too. I mean, we can start with it. Let's, let's just start with this first. Jump over. We're going to go back to our stamp tool. And then I don't know if this is going to work. This is going to be me first testing out. So I'm bringing it to there and I'm pressing the backspace. No, see, it gets rid of the whole thing. Now, that would be really cool. I Check this out. And let's zoom out. This would be really sweet looking. But you don't know what the card does. Like, that just, it blocks too much there. So what we're going to do instead of doing the shortcut now that it's highlighted and we have our opacity down to 48 now we just go like this and that fills it all in there and then what we're going to do is jump over to the well you know what it might do actually because I kind of want the tail to be part of that too I mean let's first look at this see how that looks but I, I think I want the tail included so you still get that feel of this is there. This is in the foreground. Um, remember, we bring this up to about 70% is what I like to do. So it still gets that that feel that there is something there. I may get rid of this part, but I probably shouldn't. I'll probably keep that whole thing. The tail. Now, the tail is something that I... Let's see if we can do the same thing. Let's grab the tail, see how much we can get of this with just using this tool. And what I want, I hope it doesn't cut off too much where you don't know what's going on. So that's just, you can kind of tell right now by looking at it to see, eh, it looks like it might be cutting off too much. 
Well, let's just check it out. Let's see what happens and see if you actually can see what the card does. Because this, this I feel like is the beer and pizza of this is having that tail come through. So again, we jump back here, hit our stamp tool, delete. Now we're obviously going to have to bring that through there, but what I want to see is how this looks. So deselect it. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, terror of the peaks deals damage to that creature's power. Yeah, that's too much. It's covered there. Too much covered. So go back to original plan. Keeping our opacity at 48. Now remember, if I overlap down here, it's doing 48 again. So you got to make sure that you're kind of getting that line right. So we're going to shrink down at least for this part to, oh, let's go like this. We're going to try to hit that there as best we can. And then the rest is easy. Fill that in, get that tail going. Okay. I think the tail looks pretty solid. Zoom out. Let's deselect. Just kind of see how it blends together. I think that looks pretty solid. Um, what I'm going to do is erase this part because it just doesn't make it looks kind of weird. I like him coming out of here, but we don't need that part right there. So let's bring stamp tool back. We're back on that. We're bringing this all the way up to 100 get rid of this whole thing much better that just looks a lot more solid we got our dragon uh we know what it is do we have to clean anything else up before we get to the yes we do Let's see this side right here clean that up a little bit it's kind of a big circle that i'm using there but it was pretty easy to clean that up um, so th there's some other things I'm going to talk about here in a second of possible ideas. Uh, let's get rid of a little bit of that black there and up there. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So one other thought is, okay. So this is definitely in the foreground. This is in the foreground. This is all in front. I feel like we just keep this hand back. I think it kind of gives that, you know, it's in front backhand there. So I think we're fine there. So let's get to our logo. Get that all highlighted. We're good, good, good. Control C. Let's pop it in here. My original thought is it's going in the badass mouth because that just seems solid just to have his teeth wrap around it. Um, so it's almost like he's eating the logo. Now I don't want it ridiculously big, but you don't want it too small. Cause then it just doesn't it just looks like he's eating a gumball and we don't want him to do that. We want, we want to take the teeth like actually like he's biting it. So let's do that first. We're going to zoom in here. Does it seem good there? I almost want it a little bit bigger. And we want to mess with maybe making it more of a curve. Oops, not that way. I don't want to do that. Just trying to decide how I want this to sit in there. Oh, you know what? Uh, let's try to mess with, and now I have to look. <laughs> I've got my camera in the way. Let's try to mess with some of our tools here. So remember how we did the enhanced tools? Um, what am I trying to grab here? I am trying to do, um, I don't know if I want to distort uh sphere eyes okay so the only problem is i'm hoping that it just does the logo but we'll see 
Okay, that wasn't exactly what I wanted to... Although that is facing how I kind of wanted it to face. Because I did want it more front-facing, not facing us necessarily. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that actually looks pretty solid the way that ended up. Wasn't exactly what I was thinking, but that's kind of what I want to happen. So we're going to stick it. So it is sitting in his mouth. So we're going to grab his teeth and start going right over the top of it. I have done in the past where I basically made the the logo have blood. Uh, we're not going to do it here. I think we got enough going on in the, the picture here, this proxy that we don't really need to do all that stuff. But let's get those teeth coming through. So, I'm still scrunched over from looking down. Okay, so let's get back to normal here. All right, so let's get this down. I wonder if my highlight can get those teeth. Nope, it's going for that. Get off of there. Go back to here. Let's see if we can catch those teeth. That'll make it a lot easier. Got that. We're not going to do the back teeth. We only want the front really just this tooth really just those so there, i could have just done the the tool there uh, but let's jump back here and backspace take our deselect off let's zoom out to really make this solid yeah i don't like how that ended up so we're gonna do it a little differently i'm just gonna take those highlights off Get off of there. I'm going to manually do this bad boy. Uh, to really make this work, a better idea might be to make this image just a little bit bigger. I don't want it to be the focal point, but it's not really grabbing a lot of teeth. And so it doesn't really look like he's holding anything. So if we make it big enough, he's grabbing, grabbing that. All right. So now stamp it we're gonna zoom way in because we're dealing with teeth here kind of like we did uh earlier we're doing the same thing we're just kind of kind of draw here paint it out do the edges first that makes it a lot easier Getting that tooth in there see that was easy get that in Before we move to the top teeth, let's make sure these look solid. And one thing we want to do is bring this up a little bit just to see. Yep, looks good. All right, back down. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Zoom, 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 zoom. I wish you could play our regular playlist on, but I, I get it, but it's just like, ah, oh, I, I wish I could play my own playlist. <laughs> I did start with that. If you look at some of the older videos, the earlier videos, I was playing Foo Fighters because that's my jam and I got flagged. I was like, oh, dang it. <laughs> I don't even know. I haven't gone back and listen or watched those again, but I think they removed some of it. So anything I had with Foo Fighter stuff in it, they removed it, and I think it just is quiet, which is kind of funny. Because now that I'm doing this, I couldn't do this really without music anymore. All right, so we're highlighting all the teeth. And for a little bit there, which I still dig, is the uh, Diablo 2 stuff as the background. Uh, we use that in the podcast a little bit. All right, so that looks pretty sweet. This is probably the biggest commander smith logo i've ever used but that looks really solid because it looks like he's eating it it actually looks like it's holding his fire back a little bit so overall i dig how this turned out so i i really like this a lot so all right well that should do it for this week's proxy time uh if you like this uh subscribe to our page check out our weekly podcast also on youtube or you can check it out at any of your uh where you listen to your podcasts Otherwise, that should do it for this week. I will catch you next week. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bye. Saga. So